Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today's video a little bit different. Here I have some awesome products from the company Stanley. Now Stanley is a company whose products I've used for a long time. They're stainless steel products I've used at length in camping environments. Most recently I've actually been able to use some of their cooking wear for some good quality outdoor cooking, but today it's all about the drinks. So whether it's coffee, whether you're making a little nightcap, whether you're out on the trails, Stanley does have a product for you. Now I'm up here in my kitchen taking advantage of the fact that for once I actually have the house to myself, which literally never happens. I know this video is gonna be a little bit echoey, but that comes with the territory. So what we're gonna do, I haven't even had my coffee yet. That's like almost sacrilegious. But this is a great opportunity to get some of these products into good quality use. So with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at Stanley who did provide these products for review. Again, Stanley products, products that I have come to greatly enjoy. Now at this point specifically, I do need to get into coffee time. We're gonna do a couple of things here just to kind of feel some things out. Now first and foremost here, you can see this is the classic bottle. This is sort of your classic thermos that you've kind of come to know. You've probably seen it more in this traditional green enamel color, but here in this really cool camo. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna prepare myself some coffee for later. We're gonna get this in this thermos. We're gonna see how it actually performs. Now, this theoretically can keep things hot for up to, it says here, 40 hours. That's crazy. Or cold for 35 hours. And it even says six days iced. That's phenomenal. I don't have the time to test that. I'm gonna to need to drink my coffee later. So we're just gonna do a little test here over a four hour period. I'm gonna heat my coffee up. We're gonna take a temperature. We're gonna get it inside this classic bottle here. We're gonna let it sit for four hours and then I'm gonna take it out for my afternoon coffee, take the temperature again. and We'll just kind of gauge some things from there. But other than that, this morning's coffee, I have this pour over set. This is gonna be really cool. I'm hoping this is gonna work out very well for me. And if it tests well today, it's actually gonna give me the opportunity just to bring this into my workplace. Every single day, I want fresh coffee. We kind of struggle where we are right now with coffee shops and it's not the most convenient. So having something that I can actually deal with in the office on my own fairly easy, this is gonna be nice. And so as we take a look at this pour over set, this does come in a number of different colors. I opted for the clean white. I thought that would look really nice. And actually today you'll notice that we do have a variety of different colors. So whether you go with more of that classic green here, this nice blue, but in this case, the nice clean white, Stanley does have a number of different colors. So again here, this pour over set, Let's break this out and take a look at it in a little bit of detail. One thing I've noticed so far, and it's just a subtlety, but the packaging with all of the Stanley products really does not have much in the way of plastic, which is kind of nice, mostly recyclable. And these days, I know that's a funny statement, but it kind of is going to matter for us. People might not realize it, but it is a fact. So seeing as though Stanley, as I mentioned, see, just paper on the inside. It kind of looks to be straying away from plastic just a little bit. That's kind of nice. And so here on this pour over set, we do have just some informational pamphlets. We'll set that aside. You end up with this sort of piece on top. Then you end up with your mug. So these kind of working in combination. And then here, very simple, your clear lid. So this lid here popping right on top actually has a little bit of like a silicone style gasket. So that's nice. Sits down inside fairly easy. Has a nice little handle so you can get on that. And you can see the opening there. So while you're drinking it, you can actually leave the lid on. So that's kind of cool. So here you can see this goes on top. You put your coffee grounds in here. 
This allows everything to filter through and then drain down and into the cup. Now there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve here because pour over just has a little bit of technique, not a big deal, but you do need to sort of bloom the grounds. So you kind of pour over, you let it sit and rise and just kind of steep a little bit and then you pour the rest of the water through. So we're gonna test this out, but first I gotta get my afternoon coffee on the stove. And so while that's heating up, we're gonna transition for a minute. Again, here, the classic bottle. You'll notice this is the large size. So this is a 1.5 quart or 1.4 liter bottle. This is gonna be more than enough for me to sustain my day. Again, as I mentioned, this does have some fairly impressive, uh, I would say just you know, ability to keep things at temperature. So whether or not you're going hot, it says 40 hours, cold 35 and six days with ice, that seems, I'm not gonna say unlikely, just it's a lot and it's impressive and I don't need anything that performs nearly that long. Now again, these bottles do come in a number of different colors. You can go very, very classic, but you'll notice in this case, I went with the Mossy Oak Camo. So Stanley teaming up here with Mossy Oak to create this. This is the bottom land pattern. So very nice, looks really good. And I'm not sure exactly how that's on there. If it's, you know, some sort of like a vinyl wrap or something on the outside, I would only be able to tell over time how well this holds up, but it's definitely cool. Now on top here, this little cup does thread down into place. So you can see there it's threaded on. Removing it here, nice to have just that simple little cup that's gonna work out nice for me. Now on top here, this cap, you should be able to pour out of this, I believe. We'll test that a little bit later on. But removing it here, very straightforward. Inside, there's actually a pamphlet, so gotta be careful here, pulling that out. And your beautiful stainless steel bottle. Simple care instructions in about 15 different languages, so no matter what language you speak, Stanley's got you covered. But again, just gonna clean this up real quick and then we'll get the coffee poured in here. We'll take the temperature and we'll see how this fares in four hours. So the coffee now nicely up to temperature. Basically at this point, just gonna get the thermometer in here and we're gonna take a look. I mean, this is really hot. Trying to get it in the middle of the coffee itself. Let's call it about 170 degrees for this test. It's gonna be close enough. That's gonna give us at least a little bit of a benchmark to go by. Nice handle here, very straightforward, sort of that classic look. So now at this point, we'll just set this aside, come back in a few hours and I'll have myself my afternoon coffee, but still looking for that morning coffee, let's get into the pour over. So for this plan, I know I cannot have any more than what fits in this mug. And if you're not careful, well your top piece can definitely hold much more than your actual mug itself. So you do need to be a little bit careful. So for this test, what I'm gonna do, pretty much just utilize the exact amount that I'm gonna need when I'm done. I'm gonna leverage this mug here. Pouring that in, I always to use this mug every day in the office. This is what I'd be using to actually probably just microwave the water. And you can see it's about halfway full. So if I leverage this, I know I'll be safe filling this to about the halfway mark. Literally boiling this water in the microwave, that's gonna be my start. So I'm gonna to attempt to get a reasonable ratio here. So I'm gonna basically leverage this scoop. I'm gonna get two scoops of grounds into the top. And at that point, that should be about right. Here today, a little black rifle hazelnut. This is kind of our uh, fan favorite around here. One. 
Two, very straightforward. Simply positioning this on top should be pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in just to get that to bloom up a little bit. I'll probably need to get myself a little bit of a better mug for this if I'm gonna do this successfully and not make a mess. In fact, even better is if I leverage a small little measuring cup and here I should be able to pour fairly slow. And with that pretty straightforward, gonna let the rest of this drain down and I should be good to go. This is requiring just a little bit of a stir here to get the rest to drain down, but not too big of a deal. I'll find I'll probably need to get myself a little spoon for this. And this is pretty well complete. So, nice. This has a nice handle on top, very easy. It's not too hot or really too difficult to deal with anyway. I'm just gonna wash this from the bottom so that I push any grounds back and out through the top. I looked a little bit closer at this and well, you can take the entire filter apart to get it nice and clean. That is awesome. So the ability to really get all the little nooks and crannies and grounds out of there you can definitely keep up with this. You'll notice that there are some tabs across the top and then it's flat in the front that literally just slides into place very easy. You get this into the underside and then this is threaded. So it just literally little quarter turn, click in there and it's back into action. This is really nice. I love the white. It's really a good looking set. And this is going to be awesome. I love this. But at this point, Actually, pretty nice looking cup of coffee. I don't see anything floating in it, just a couple little bubbles. But other than that, that's nice. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy my cup of coffee as we turn the corner into some of the other products. And so sipping on this here. It's good. It's not the strongest. I drink really strong coffee, so this might be a little weaker than what I'm used to, but it's still good. I think with some practice, this will definitely improve. I kind of got to dial in my process a little bit. I think going to that measuring cup is going to be a real good opportunity for me. I can boil the water in that. I can pour it over here with a little more precision than in the mug. You know, hopefully avoid spilling it all over the place. And then this is going to be easy to clean up. I have a sink where I can just clean everything up in the office. So having a nice fresh cup of coffee every morning, this is going to be sweet. So that takes care of my daytime activities. But what about at night? Well, here, this is the beer pint. Again, just an awesome feeling, quality stainless steel product. Like most Stanley products, it's going to be very nice and high end. Now, as we get into this here, you can see this actually has a lid and it's kind of cool when I look a little closer, it's actually built with an integrated bottle top opener. This is the one little piece of plastic I've seen in all of their packaging. Just this one little piece, but here right in the top, a little bottle top opener. So that's pretty cool. It actually just slides right and easily into place on top of this cover. So that's nice. And well here, the main product itself, the actual pint glass. So here, double wall construction. It's at least considered double wall. I'm not positive on the thickness. I'll try to get some information on that and annotate it below, but very nice. The classic green here, this is cool for me. This is definitely going to come into play pretty much. And it's not every night, but many nights. I like myself a simple nightcap. A nice little mixed drink, not too much, but enough just to kind of relax. Get down to business, get down to what I need to do. And if you've watched my channel, pretty much the entire channel has been built upon my editing time and my ability just to relax at night pour myself a simple drink, chill out, get down to editing, 
but keeping it cold, I've actually struggled sometimes. Your typical pint glass doesn't do such a great job. So what we're gonna do right now, it's exactly 10.30 in the morning. I've put 12 equivalent sized ice cubes in each one of these. So your standard pint glass and then the Stanley beer pint. So we're gonna see how long the ice lasts and until it's completely melted and we'll go with that as not a scientific test, but just something that's going to be a matter of interest. Each one of these getting the exact same measured amount of water, 500 milliliters actually was a little too much with the ice content. So there's 200 left that ended up being 300 milliliters, which is the same as 10 ounces. So these both here filled with the exact same amount of ice cubes, the exact same temperature and amount of water. So we're gonna set these aside. It's exactly 10.30 in the morning right now, and we'll check this periodically throughout the day to see which one lasts the longest. I think we know the answer, but it'll be interesting to see exactly how this pans out. Now something worth noting for this segment of the test, keep in mind this does have the ability to put the lid on top. So this is both open to the atmosphere with no lid on top. So that's kind of for the beginning here, an apples to apples test. We'll see how this behaves. So we'll start it here, but then we may do a little bit more of an investigation if we feel it's necessary. All right, so now, last but not least, here we have the titanium multi cup. Stanley does not have a lot of titanium products. I kind of wish they did. I think their stuff is nice enough that for the backpacker, I kind of sometimes stray away from Stanley just because they only have stainless. And at this point, I try to lighten up my kit and I do carry a lot more titanium. So this will now make it with me on trips. I'll test it out. I'll get some good long duration use out of this but really one of the very few titanium products that Stanley has. Now I suspect that as we get into this, this you're gonna wanna stay away from putting on direct heat. This is definitely an insulated cup. So the ability to actually keep your beverages warm inside or cold inside yet not impact your hands, that's definitely going to be the case but you definitely wanna be careful. You cannot apply direct heat to this. And I think they'll probably mention that if we get into the instructions. So they do say this is the tie vac technology. So in other words, combining titanium with their vacuum insulation that you've come to know from Stanley products. So that is the tie vac technology. And as I suspected inside, just a little informational pamphlet which as I suspected, as you take a look at this, it does say do not use in the microwave oven. It will damage your appliance. I think we should all know that by now, but do not place this on a drip coffee maker, stovetop, or other heat source, which could damage the actual cup. So as I suspected, that is the case, but as we look inside, just real nice, real clean, nice look, very well polished. This blue is beautiful, I love it. It's kind of an anodized blue look, just really nice. On the bottom there, it has a sticker, I'll remove that, but it's sort of this black rubberized uh, sort of foot, which at that point you can see, it actually sits on the table and it doesn't wanna move too much, which is cool. I mean, comparatively, You can hear it. So it definitely wants to grab. That's gonna be nice. It's actually gonna work out very well if you have this on uneven ground, which is always the case when you're camping. So really cool. This is gonna be nice. You'll see what I call little cameo appearances of this from time to time while I'm out in the mountains. Now as I work my way down to the bottom of my cup of coffee, you can see as we look in there, it is definitely a bit silty. Now, I can't blame this at all at the actual technology. You know, that for me is probably more in my choice of coffee grounds. You do need to sort of experiment with your grind pattern and the actual coarseness of the grounds themselves. But as you look here, you can see definitely got some in the bottom. Now, it's not sludgy at all. That's not a problem. You're just going to have a little bit of silt in there. I am not at all 
a coffee snob, so that's actually perfectly fine for me. So it's been exactly an hour, and you can see yeah, both of them looking close to the same, but definitely hard to say. We've lost quite a bit of the ice volume here. On the Stanley, yeah, hard to say. It might be about the same, but we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep rolling. So here we are pulling into the two hour mark. And I'd say at this point, we're definitely starting to see some results. So here, quite clearly, the standard pint glass getting down to the last legs on the ice. But here on the Stanley, Still going pretty strong, actually, all things considered. So this is starting to prove itself out pretty easily. I would say there's not too much question here. Well, at this point, we are ringing in at the two and a half hour mark. And as you can see here, this is literally down to its final tiny little piece. So I'm going to call this at two and a half hours. Of course, it's going to be a few minutes longer than that. But as we look at the Stanley here, Still doing mighty, mighty fine. In fact, let's take a look at this. I'm gonna pour out the water here and we'll see how much ice we have left in here. But before we do, I do wanna take a quick temperature on each one of these, just out of curiosity to see where it rings in. So here, as we take this temperature, this is seemingly about 49, 48 degrees. It's still dropping a little bit. Let's call it there at 46 degrees. And on this side, it's gonna be hard to avoid the ice altogether. But that is 35. So definitely doing a great job to keep my drink nice and cool. So perfectly done by Stanley. And as we take a look at this here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All 12 ice cubes still continuing to exist and have lost a bit of size, but generally speaking, not too bad. Well, and so now, rolling in four hours later. Let's take a quick look at this, see how the temperature held up. Be curious can already feel the warmth on top here and I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the whoo you can certainly see it uh, but I'm not sure if I can get the thermometer all the way down inside but yeah it looks like it so temperature here rising quickly 151 153 156 climbing up and it looks like here, topping off at roughly around 160 degrees, but you can see coming out here, definitely nice and hot. So some of that heat probably transferring into the actual, uh, you know, thermos itself. But here at this point, getting myself some good afternoon coffee. This is going to be awesome. So on a daily basis, this should work out pretty well for me where if I make a few extra cups of coffee, I can certainly load it in here, bring it to work, and that's gonna actually save me a little bit of effort in my afternoon as well. So all in all, these Stanley products, mighty nice. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Stanley for providing these for review. As always, I greatly enjoy the Stanley products. So everything from your coffee and your hot beverages, things that you want to maintain temperature for a good long time, turning the corner into my nightcap, having this nice insulated pint glass, and then beyond it all, the abilities to have some nice hot coffee out on the trails. This is certainly protecting my hands. It's good and hot on the inside. You can see the steam coming off of it, and well, I probably need to wait a little bit before I actually actually drink it but yeah that's good and so again thank you very much to the people at Stanley and for the rest of you if you like this content do me a favor take a look at my outer limitless 2 channel which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things at this point that channel is growing quickly so if you like what you see here on outer limitless do me a favor and check me out on outer limitless 2 so all right guys thanks for stopping by 
I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.